Welcome back, Pure Structure Traders, for another market analysis for the London session and potentially into the U.S. session. Today is July 22nd, 2021 here in Hawaii and will be July 23rd, 2021 in London. We are going to be going over S&P 500 gold and also oil, give you guys some of the levels we're looking at. So if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any questions you guys got, feel free to put uh, those questions in YouTube and we would love to get back to you guys. Uh, but other than that, let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. So for S&P 500, we did have a nice continuation of an up move. So we are looking for the market to try to gradually climb back to these 43.80.75s. And again, we got a measured move sitting all the way up back at 43.95. So we'll see if maybe we can actually get all the way up there. Uh, surprisingly, we dropped again and then we... Well, for the week, the beginning of the week, we dropped all the way down to those 22.25s. Uh, well, I'm sorry, 42.25.25. 25, and then we pulled all the way back up, looking like we're coming all the way back up to those 43.80.75s. So we'll see if the market actually gives us an opportunity to get all the way back up there. But we do want to see if the market can come back first into an, a level right around these 43.66.75s and then maybe get a nice bounce to the upside. That's what I'm actually looking for on S&P. If we get below that, then I'm looking for the market to come a little bit down further, maybe into our next level, 43.56.25. Let me go ahead and pull up a smaller chart for you guys so you guys can see. So right here, you can see what's going on here on S&P 500. Uh, 43.66.75, this is where I'm looking for the market to round out and push to the upside. So do want to see if we can continue that climb to the upside and then uh, get some resistance right off this level. If that happens, that's going to be a good opportunity either to fade the market. If you don't want to fade, look for that continuation of move. Um, probably above this, if you don't get it down below, right around these 6675. If you don't get it down below, then look for the continuation of move. Now you could start a move a little bit higher, as you can see, 68, somewhere around 68 is a little bit closer level. Um, you can see it rounding out right now, so this should be a good opportunity right into the London session for a continuation of move to the upside. So we'll see if we get that opportunity there. With that, let's go in three is the resistance right now. So I'm trying to see if we can actually get this push up and then maybe a pull down um, back into this support here at 1794.9. If we can't get through, that's our going to be our bounce of support. If we do get a push through next level up, it's going to be somewhere at 1811 as resistance. So I want to see if we can get this resistance here for maybe a nice rejection and then a push right back down for a nice fade opportunity there. We'll see what happens there. Let's pull over a smaller chart here on crude oil as well for you. I mean not crude oil, but on gold as well for you guys. So pulling up gold here, you can see again, we want to see this market. Maybe there is a micro level. We've got this micro level that we got here since we're a little bit higher. Uh, want to see if we could actually... It might bounce here and then come right back up. But if we get this rejection here, I want to see if we can get all the way back down into those 94 to 96s and then get that support right off this level to try to continue the move back to the upside. So probably looking for more of a short opportunity here on gold. Um, but as you can see, we're underneath these 1804s right now here on gold. So going to see if we can actually get back to that level and reject it and then continue lower we might not but we'll see what happens during the london session that's going to be my trade opportunity there on gold uh for the short but down down to 94 and if not if it gets above these 1804s this might be a nice support try to push up to those 1808s and then 1811 on the next area of resistance let's go ahead and move over into crude oil for you guys as well so for crude oil been climbing to the upside quite a bit. Uh, we are above at our level of resistance. You see, we tried to climb into 7207, kind of got there, double top right off that level, and then we're coming back down. You can see that our next support is going to be somewhere around these 7130s right here. See if the market can come down here and then continue to move. If not, underneath that's going to be 7098 for the support. And continuation if we get below 7098 look for the market to come down into right around these 70 14s and then 6992s 
as the next level of support there. Let's take a look at a smaller chart here on crude oil. So crude oil, again, we can bounce as low as the 70, 98, and then maybe get a nice bounce to the upside for a continuation. My next level up, 72.07, then 72.43 as the next levels of resistance. Uh, above 43, 70, 72.90. Uh, underneath these 70.98s, I am then looking for the market to try to drop off into these 70.14s and then 69.92s as a support. If we get this support here, this may be a nice bounce. But once we get under these 98s, maybe it might go a little bit bare. So keep that in mind. But that's going to be my trading opportunities for the London session for gold, S&P, and also oil. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos. If you guys did, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Any, guys, any questions you guys got, feel free to pop them in here on YouTube. We would love to get back to you guys. But other than that, guys, if you guys continue to trade, make sure you guys trade well. You guys have a great night. Take care.